to my wonderful and maybe listeners around the world wherever you might be listening from welcome to another interesting news the news headline we have learned our lessons anybody without a large art can never win an election Kaladima said we have learned our lessons anybody without a large art can never win an election Kaladima said the news in full details during an interview with channels television Buba Galadima spokesperson of the new Nigerian People Party NNPP stated they have learned their lessons from the 2023 presidential election pointing out that anybody without a large art can never win an election it disclosed that they were rigged out of the election because their party symbol was missing on the ballot paper he added that only someone who uses the primordial sentiment of religion would be able to come out vitreous in the election. Radima further disclosed that when they contest the election next time, they would apply for all the lessons they learned and know what to do. He also revealed that someone who has no plans but to only contest will eventually be overpowered by those who have powers. He however stated that they did not lose the election and that people are very much aware of it. According to him, at least there were lessons that we learned from this election. One of the, that one of one is that Nigerian knows that anybody without a large art can never win an election, and if you do win, your opponent must be extremely unpopular, or that you have you have used some primordial sentiment of religion, or or try to get your way through. But in order to suffrage, you be outboarded by those that are strong. So we have learned our lessons. And if we are coming in next time, it means we know what to what to look for and how to get what we want. Mubagaladima is a Nigerian politician who was national secretary to, of the Congress for Progressive Trends (CPC), a party formed in the run-up to the 2011 national election as a leading platform for former military ruler and president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammadu Buhari. He was a spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party. Buba Galadima, an engineer by profession, is a graduate of Amadou Bele University, Zaria. He hails from Gusei, Yobi State. He participated in the 1994 1995 Constitutional Conference. Buba Galadima was Director General of the Nigerian Maritime Authority, NME, from 1996 to 1998. During the Nigerian Fourth Republic, established in mid 1999, Buba Galadima became the chieftain of the leading opposition party, the All Nigerian People Party (ENPP). In June 2002, Buba Galadima was interviewed on a proposal by President Olusha Gorba Sanjo to to restructure local governments in the country. He expressed his party's op- opposition to move. He said that Olusha Gorba Sanjo, the youth upper president of the country, was trying to sneak in the changes surreptitiously giving state governors the right to appoint unelected officials to run the local government, but also introducing consultative assemblies for region for religion and the and thus undermining the powers of the state. On the twenty ninth of April two thousand four, Papa Galadima was arrested in Abuja by the officers from the State Security Services SSS. Amnesty International expressed concern that he was at risk of torture or ill treatment. As chairman of the Mobilization Committee of the Conference of the Nigerian Political Parties, CNPP, Papa Galadima had planned to be involved in an anti-government protest which took place on the 3rd of May in Abuja and Lagos. He was released without charge on the 13th of May. After the 21st of April 2007 presidential election, the Supreme Court had had various charges of impropriety. Papa Galadima, National Campaign Secretary of the Buhari Organization, TBO, claimed that the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, was trying to frame Muhammadu Buhari with false claims about the sources of his campaign funding. He said the People's Democratic Party was plotting to take them out of circulation so that they can continue with their misdeeds against the Nigerian people unnoticed. 
when ethnic violence broke out in Jos, Plateau State in November 2008, with the death toll rising about 350, Baba Galadima called for a declaration of emergency rule in the state to stop the killing and Miami by thugs, who he said seems to be armed by the state government. TBO called for an independent judicial inquiry panel to look into the cause of the crisis. In November 2009, Buba Galadima said that if the government failed to reform the state security services SSS, the results could be chaotic, anarchic, and violence prone 2011 election. This repeated a statement made by the State Security Services G Director General Afakriya Ganzama. The State Security Service arrested and interrogated Ganzama on the grounds that his statement was a call for violent change. He is one of the nine signatories that signed the major agreement between the three political parties that came together with faction of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Congress for Progressive Change, and All Nigerian People Party (ANPP) and the Action Congress of Nigeria (ACN) to form the All Progressive Change, All Progressive Party, All Progressive Congress (APC). In 2015 interview, Galadima stated that no politician have suffered the kind of calamities he went through in the country. I was arrested, detained, and harassed for for about 38 times, and I never changed. Even under such a pity, pitiable condition, I stood my ground as a patriotic lawyer and honest democrat. Galadima voiced his concern over attempt to scheme out Northern Christians from holding one of the preceding positions of the National Assembly, namely Speaker of the House of Representatives, eventually members of the House of Representatives elected Honorable Yakubo Dugara, who represented Bogoro Tafa Balewa Federal Constituency in Bauchi State as the Speaker of the 8th Assembly. In 2017, he decamped to the People Democratic Party PDP and was named as one of the spokespersons of the People Democratic Party. On the 24th of February 2019, 24 hours after the, pres the presidential election of 2019 was conducted, Papa Galadima announced on his social media and was that Atiku Abubakar had won the election when results were being collated by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Due to, the, to his action, the All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council demanded Buba Galadima's arrest. A few hours after he posted the video, he, supposed, he was supposedly arrested by Max security operatives. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.